hi Harm here a couple of days ago you saw that I did a video on this uh, grease pot did a boiling test with that in it it has this sorry has this uh, strainer and I was trying to think of some use I could use it for and that's what I want to do today let me get this started up I have two cups of water here what I want to do today is make rice with fruit now I'm a very simple man with simple tastes I'll eat anything that's in front of me almost anything some people say that's my problem but one of the things I like is rice love rice in an earlier video you saw me make rice and barbecue spam that's another one of my favorites is spam so what I want to do today is I put rice in this strainer I should lead up to that uh, in my thinking of what to do with this strainer to see if I could you know make something useful out of it I remembered a video that I saw some time ago and it just bugged me because I couldn't remember where it was so I went through my notes and stuff and it dawned on me it was a video called swamp kitchen swamp chair put out by really big monkey one he has some good videos you should check out his stuff anyway uh, he cooked rice there just in cans that were put on top of each other you know he had a small can would put water in it another small can on top of it with holes in it put his rice on that and then just put a cover on there and he he didn't go through it I don't think the whole thing but that was the way he cooked his rice I had always boiled it before and I just wanted to see what this method would do so anyway <clears throat> excuse me rice is a very handy thing I mean you can mix all kinds of stuff in it what I'm gonna do today is make like a compote with fruit salad in the rice I've taken rice and added uh, butter powder and cinnamon and had that I mean you can just about mix anything into this it's really cool stuff okay what's gonna happen here is gotta get this water up to a boil and then I'll put this on so let me cut here and I'll be right back when the water's boiling okay this water is just getting ready to boil so what I did was I, I thought about this I'm not sure if I have enough room so I took some of the rice out there's about a half a cup of rice here I'll put that in there put the lid back on now there's one hole here plus this is loose fitting so I think it'll be alright for the steam what I'm using here is the mini Trangia pot stand with the tr small Trangia the uh, Kmart grease pot like I said I'll I'll leave a link down below in the text area for really big monkey ones video the uh, swamp kitchen swamp chair he goes and cooks rice out in the middle of a swamp it looked like where he was standing in water this guy is crazy so but I mean he makes good videos all right so oops let's see I'll let this go now and let's see how long it takes to get this rice cooked up be right back okay there we are a little over 10 minutes and it's just not working the rice is still all hard just not cooking at all so I guess if I want to get some rice for lunch today I better do this right what I'll do is I'll clean this all up boil myself some water and I'll come back and make some rice and fruit the right way be right back okay I've got a cup of water here boiling now let's make the rice the right way apparently this uh, grease pot just doesn't work one cup of water boiling one cup of rice put it in the boiling water stir it in okay it's stirred in now some people say let it come to a boil again others say just take it off 
and that's what I'm going to do here. Normally I just take it off the flame. This is where a pot with a cozy on it comes in handy. So I'll take that off, put that out. And what I'm doing is, I, since I don't have a cozy for this, I'm putting it on the uh, insulated pad. So we'll be back in five minutes and see how the rice turns out. Be right back. Okay, there we are going on. That's five minutes that it's been sitting here. Now remember, don't play with this. Put the lid on. It says uh, boil the water, add the rice, let set for five minutes. So do that. Don't play with it, opening it up and checking it, opening it up and checking it. Wait for the five minutes. Oh, can you see that? Looks, It looks done. Yep. That was one cup of rice, one cup of water. Now what I do is I take a cup of fruit. I like to pack them like this, take them like this. This is just fruit salad in light syrup. Open this up. It means a little trash, but it's plastic. Pour that in the rice. Get all the good stuff. And just mix it in. Now you can use more or less. Uh, add things like cinnamon. Add a little sugar if it's not sweet enough for you. I'm not sure if this is a dessert or a meal or what. But I like it. If you had dry fruit, you could probably just mix that in here and let it set. Okay, let me see here. Hmm. Excuse me. I know, it's just plain. I mean, it's just rice and fruit cocktail. But this tastes good here, so I could just imagine, you know, out on the trail, this pot would taste really good. Hmm. I mean, you know, just experiment. This is something real easy, real cheap. If this cost me maybe 50, 75 cents for this meal, I'll be surprised. Excuse me just a minute. Mm. Like I said, pardon me, excuse me. <clears throat> like I said, take into consideration, I'm a man of simple tastes. Maybe we could add just a little bit of cinnamon to that. So, anyway, excuse me, I have bad habits here. Rice and fruit, like this is instant rice, not uh, long grain rice. This has already been cooked, so it makes for very fast cooking times on the trail. I thank Really Big Monkey One for his videos. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below so that you can go and see this, the video where he made the rice in the swamp. Look at his other videos, too. I thank you for watching, putting up with my bad manners here. I always look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. He's not getting any of this. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend.